What's good, people? Yep, yep, you heard it. A cash car and thoughts ruin my credit. Probably not like you thinking. Not at all like you thinking. Not at all like you thinking. Let's rewind. The problem with the thoughts happened first. I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call all of them thoughts. I'm just gonna call all of them thoughts. I, yeah, at this point, we need to just do better in life and uh, leave the low value women alone. Leave low value women alone. Seek, yeah, seek to be evenly yoked. But here's where the problem started. It, this is a deep ass. But it ain't really deep. It's just, it's just stupid. It's stupid on my behalf. So, I was messing with two cousins. I initially didn't know they were cousins. One of them I've known since she was 17. She moved off, got married, got divorced, came back. So, yeah, I, yeah, we hooked back up after she got divorced and moved back. But, while she was married, I've been messing around with her cousin for like, mm eight nine years at that point had no clue that they even knew each other related none of that that's that's what that's what makes that part crazy that was okay for so many years one cousin had a baby which was not mine she didn't even accuse the baby of being mine at first it was yeah it was like little girl like one and a half and uh yeah, I guess her baby daddy figured out that he wasn't her baby daddy. And, yeah, he got a DNA test. So, yeah. I mean, like, I've been helping her out with the kid. This another one of them things goes back to you. You really just can't be friends with most females. I'm not going to say at all, period. But, yeah, it's kind of tough being friends with females. And, you know, yeah, these type of situations come up. But yeah, I was helping her out with the kid and whatnot. I liked the kid. I really got attached to the kid. I liked the little girl. Problem came in, you know. She got a DNA, you know. Other dude got a DNA test. So, yeah, no more child support, no more tea, no more assistance from the government. Until she find her baby daddy. Which didn't have nothing to do with me, I ain't think. Until she put me on child support. Which got cleared up. Eventually. Now during the child support situation. I was dating a third person. Who didn't have shit to do with. You know, she do got something to do with one of them. The one yeah. With, not the one with the kid. But the other other cousin. The other cousin brought a girl by my house one day. And I kind of sort of known her. I, I, You know she's one of my clients. I almost told you exactly what I do. But yeah, she's one of my clients. I'm an accountant, so it ain't nothing crazy. So I might as well just be like, yeah, I'm an accountant. She's one of my accountant clients. So I ain't really never talked to her outside of work. And, you know, found out she was actually pretty cool. We started dating. Then I went back and told one of the other thoughts that, yeah, your homegirl cool. I think we're going to, like, work out. Yeah. Yeah, that was a problem. That was a problem. That was a problem. See, at that point, we just call her thought number two. Thought number two went back and told thought number three that me and her was in love. We was about to get married. And when I be fucking her, I just be making love to her. Da 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 da. I was like, wow. But yeah, yeah. So that's just the drama part with the thoughts. But yeah, y'all want to know about how my credit got ruined. Credit got ruined, you know. Number three, you know, basically, I already been around the kid with thought number one. And I did want a kid. Thought number three didn't even seem like a thought. Thought number two told me she was a thought, but I ain't believe she was a thought. But yeah, I was taking her out on nice dates, you know, getting hotel rooms out of town. You know, nice restaurants, wasting money, not being in my office doing work like I probably should have been doing. At the same time, probably about a month or so before that, I bought a 2004 Infiniti G35. I did a lot of research, 
My boss used to have one back when I used to be a stockbroker. I used to have a G35, you know, when they were new. Yeah, like I bought one after they wasn't new. Okay, so yeah, the G35. Paid three grand for the G35. Maybe like 3200 you know. It was a pretty decent deal. I want to say it had like maybe 100, 110, 120,000 miles on it. For three grand. Seemed like a decent deal, right? Yeah. Till, you know, three months later, after the situation with the thoughts already had transpired, and this is where thought number three ended up leaving me, I dropped her off for work, and then, uh, I drove like about 45 minutes up the Little Rock after I dropped her off for work to pick up some windows. Yeah, that's a whole nother story within itself. Somebody stole the windows out of my house, like one of my rent houses. That's crazy. Like I'm talking about like out the wall, like not like, yeah, like they literally cut the windows out the wall. It's the craziest shit I've never seen. But yeah, I was going to, going up the Little Rock to get some windows some used windows to replace the windows that got stolen. And, yeah. Threw a rod in my car that I only had for, like, maybe two and a half, three months. So, at that point, I probably made the worst decision ever. I was like, I, I got enough money. I could just buy another car. Buy another little cheap-ass car. Keep it pushing. I could even buy another G35. But I was like, I kind of like the car. I was like, I could just get the motor rebuilt. Apparently, at least not around here, people don't rebuild motors. So, rebuilding the motor wasn't really an option. So, I bought a used motor. It wasn't nothing, yeah. It wasn't, the motor itself was not the problem. It, I think it was like, I just took my car to the first shop, the closest shop that could put in a motor from where it threw a ride at on the side of the interstate. Probably should have shopped it around a little bit better. So, the motor itself cost like $1,300. I put the motor on my credit card. So then, you know, I got a whole motor out. Might as well add a couple little, little extra parts to the car. Long story short. I ended up putting, like, literally, like, yeah, I'm going to say about $7,000 on credit cards. Putting the motor in a $3,000 car. Okay. So, at this point, I spent $10,000 on a $3,000 car. I know. This, this is dumb as fuck for me. This is dumb. This is real dumb. I really was not intending to spend this much money on this car. I was like, well, might as well get it right. Then, here's the thing. Cash advances. You don't ever want to do a cash advance on your credit card. They're going to, like, rape you. It's, like, damn near 30% interest. Like, it was crazy. Like, yeah. So, I spent pretty much all of 2019 paying that back. Besides the fact, summer 2019... My car was in the shop because apparently they couldn't make my car run after they put the motor in. So, yeah, my car was in the shop about two, three months. And it didn't really run too well thereafter. So, at some point, well, actually, it's probably, it was like, this was this year. I bought the Z71 in the picture. It's a piece of shit, too. It's a piece of shit vehicle. I ain't gonna lie to you. But it does do a job. It does do a job. Like, it is more than paid for itself. I only pay $1,000 for a truck. And, yeah, it pays for itself. I I actually don't do DoorDash sometimes in a truck. And, yeah, basically, I'm making a week and a half, two weeks what I pay for the whole truck. Motor's good, everything. Frame just rusted and cracked. But I do got another truck to replace that. The moral of this story is... I don't know if there is a moral to this story. But sometimes when you think you're saving money by buying something cheap. Or even just dealing with cheap women. 
it costs you a lot more money than if you just like went and got like some decent to begin with. I mean, I think that's the thing. A lot of times, you know, we think we can fix these women up just like we fix these cars up. I still got the car. I all the hoes gone. All the hoes gone. Like one of them just left. Like, 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 they gone. They gone. But that's a good thing. That is a good thing that they are gone. We need to rebuild, do better things in life. Low budget women. And they ain't gonna do nothing but take you down there, try to take your money, try to rob you. I kind of think these hoes trying to kill me, set me up. I don't know. It, it was crazy. But yeah, that's how, that's how my credit went from like seven hundred to like five something. Like I think at one point we was talking like four ninety. Like it got ridiculous. I mean, yeah, that and I actually got fired from my job, like right after I bought the car. So yeah, th there was a little transition period into. Well, I own a business. I, I mean, I still did accounting, but, you know, I just do income tax accounting, so that's not a year-round job. So, anyhow. Yeah. Cheap cars and thoughts will mess up your credit. Just stay away from anything cheap.